Ah yes, Powerplay, the most boring, inconsequential and pointless feature Elite Dangerous has. Well, okay, faction mission ranks are worse, but no matter, this is just some random opinion of some space Latvian, so you can disregard it just like any other toothless bomb on the street you see. And so this list is made for those of you that are still wondering which power to pledge allegiance to. Though each power offers you something, I see this whole thing as a small roleplay addition for those that actually care. Now then, mind you, this is my list and I'm super biased here, so take it as such. Number 3. We have an independent guy that looks not older than 45, and yet is older than the geezer in charge of the Federation. This is how far can technology get you. Lee Yong Rui takes the third spot. Best thing about him is that he basically has the infinite power of money. Yes, he's essentially Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. But anyways, Lee provides his supporters with discounts on insurance costs at rank 2 and Packhound missiles at rank 3. A rather interesting weapon that my friend still gushes about. Sure, it's nice and all, but for me there's something cooler. But anyways, if you finally get to the last rank somehow, he offers data exploration payout increased by 200%, so triple the payout. Though the problem with this is that most explorers take several weeks to collect data, and by the time you return the cycle is up and you won't get that bonus most likely, unless you collect those merits afterwards. But at that point it's a lot more dangerous. Number 2. Speaking of that old geezer in charge of Federation, Hudson here is the true number two. Get it? Get it? Now, if Lee had the power of money, Hudson's basically a Vulcan caricature of an old war vet yelling about young people not being in the line, and that everything should be done like in the army. Oh, oh, oh you're in the army. Now. Honestly, Hudson has some problems, but then again, he's federal. It's not like they're gonna pump out anything intellectual anyways. In Hudson's mind, if you see somebody breaking the law, beat the shit out of him. If you see somebody sneezing, beat the shit out of him. In fact, I think that Hudson just wants to beat the shit out of people all day long. But back to the matter, on second rank, Hudson offers you an increase in bounty payouts on his controlled systems. On rank 3, you can get a completely useless frag cannon, and on rank 5, you get an unconditional bounty payout doubling. This guy's here really because unlike Lee, Hudson actually controls his faction and does it well. Plus he usually floats around the top 5, so that bounty increase on rank 2 comes into play more often. Number 1. Well, it's not a surprise about my top pick. The great and powerful Arista Duval, the current empress. Intent on getting rid of corruption, though she is of noble blood, her actions and achievements have made her what she is today. She's leading empire with wisdom and knowledge, not afraid to deal with hard issues, unlike somebody else. The bottom line here is, Arista is basically the best thing since sliced bread and you should follow her if you have even a single shred of intelligence. As for rewards, Arista provides the same bonuses as Hudson, except for the weapon. Instead of some pathetic shot Gun, she actually has a rail gun, so automatically it's awesome and actually somewhat useful. The best part is that her standing in power play usually floats around top 3, so most weeks you're gonna get decent bonus for that bounty. So yeah, there we go. But before you leave, here's an honorable mention. For one time use only, if you are building a tanky ship you must get prismatic shields from Aisling Duval, Arissa's niece. She's been called people's princess and oddly she reminds me of Khaleesi from Game of Thrones, but without wisdom, smarts or devotion. Basically to me she is a Cam Hor equivalent in politics. Instead of actually talking about important stuff like Arissa, she just prances around in media looking nice and talking crap. It's weird, but she's actually three years older than me. What the fuck? Anyways, get her shields and then leave her. And there you go, fellas. Let me know down below who do you support and why. But let it be known, if you don't support Arisa, you are a fool. Right back to- <coughs> I mean, I lost my testicles, oh my god, I can't speak anymore, 